go. Streaming from South Africa to the world. To the world. This is the Stonks Go Moon podcast. What just happened? We break it down so you don't have to. Welcome everyone to the Stones Go Moon podcast. My guest today, Igor Bashatsky, co-founder of Fron AI. Welcome to the pod. Thank you for having me. Uh, can you explain a bit about Fron AI, what it is, what it sets it apart from other low-code blockchain platforms? So uh, we are a, a layer one, layer zero. Okay. Layer one is something that we did as a proof of concept to show that blockchains could be dynamic uh, mm -hmm. by embedding AI into it. So we essentially created the first dynamic blockchain that adapts to the environment uh, based on the preset parameters uh, as, as we found them to, to initially be four. Okay. Now we rate up to eight and uh, on next iteration, we're gonna be up to 13. Uh, so all these parameters allow us to have the chain scale and okay. eliminate in, uh, increase in gas fees. And at the same time, it allows us to eliminate the bottleneck. And with that, anything that comes in will be processed immediately. Okay. And you guys are based in Dubai, right? Correct. We are. Why, why Dubai for you? Why not, why not, why not you in America? Why not the UK? Why Dubai? Um, the, A, the infrastructure. There's so many events. There's so much happening in this industry. Uh, mm -hmm. It's rapidly growing, and there's definitely a huge support from the local uh, local associations, mm -hmm. uh, Dubai Blockchain Center, and others. And uh, one of the main points is uh, regulatory is is understandable. It's it's the the guidelines, the the architecture of mm -hmm. it is is sustainable. And it's, uh, and I, I'm guessing it's clear. So these are the rules. This is what you need to do as opposed to being ambiguous. I don't like, this is a gray area. We don't really know that that's what you mean. Absolutely. So, I mean, okay. whatever we do, we do within the compliance. And with that, we understand that exactly. If we do something that's within the guidelines, uh, we're essentially following the rules. Awesome. All right. Talk to me about uh, indirect LTFM protocol. What is that? And like, how does it work? How, why is it important for AI integrated blockchains? So it's essentially, uh, it's the low transaction fee mechanism. That's, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's our proprietary technology the, the, at front AI we've, uh, we've developed. And okay. essentially we're using the scalability and uh, trilemma. Um, so we're, we're introducing the proof of learning concept that okay. the chain is able to learn from from transactions learn from an activity and okay. at that point it creates the balance between decentralization security and speed uh by reducing cost and essentially it's it's understanding the environment and adapting to it and that's where the um, adaptive mechanism comes in so we're we're understanding which blocks are coming and okay. how to position them in order okay. for them to maintain the same cost so the transactional cost is, is minimal. It's 0 0.401. Sort of like playing Tetris, I guess, and seeing which blocks comes second. Is that a fair analogy? Exactly. 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 <laughs> that sounds awesome. Where do you find I, your? I, I couldn't place it any better. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you find your engineers? Is it uh, is it based in Dubai? What's the talent pool like? Is or is it more remote for you guys? Everybody is remote now. Um, as of uh, we. We decided that, you know, we're going to be based here and everything earlier mm -hmm. on the year. Mm -hmm. uh, we decided that we're going to wait over the summer and uh, get people to start moving here. Uh, since September, we've been having people move here. Mm -hmm. um, so the core founding team is here. Uh, some of our devs are starting to move, but we are so diverse. It's uh, Panama, Greece, uh, Ukraine. Um, wow. Uh, yeah, okay. we're from all over. How important is it for you to have everyone at the same space? Because we've still, I mean, we've seen remote working slowly being phased out, return to office. Uh, as a startup, like founder, do you want everyone to be in the same space? A <laughs> uh, million dollar question, I think is, uh, yes. So for, for purpose of 
the brainstorm and, and ability to gather everybody and communicate and kind of throw things off each other. Mm. It's it's critical for everybody to be together, but it's not <clears throat> it's not that it can't be done. And so mm. far we've been in production three and a half years we've been building mm. and we've been all decentralized <clears throat> and we've come up come this far. Okay. But I feel that when we do gather and we spend we do get together and we work together, uh, then in that short period of time, we come further than when we are separated. So, okay. you know, we have to be conscious of overhead costs and relocation costs and everything. Mm. So at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of playing it by ear. Uh, I'm, I am offering some of our teams to relocate. Uh, those that are wanting the, to do so, I'm trying to support them with that. Awesome. Um, ideally, my, you know, utopian world of dev studio kind of uh, everybody is in one house. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, okay. So talk to me. What industries do you see benefit, benefiting most um, from this technology of yours? Um, so we are creating um, a tool that's utilized for everybody on chain. And okay. so. So as part of the infrastructure, we have multiple things that, that we've done. One mm -hmm. is the layer one is a proof of concept of dynamic chain. Okay. Two is a marketplace aggregator of all things AI. And what that means is that we're offering a one place where everybody in AI world that wants to build with blockchain okay. has one place to come and to build with, build okay. with tools, build with models. Uh, have models that are available for like OpenAI and Alibaba. And of course, there's a lot of others that are building AI models that are not readily available. Yeah. And those that are want wanting to build with that, uh, build models and they don't know how to monetize them, we're giving them a platform to bring it and to make it available for everybody else. And then the final stage is for once you build it, you want to take it on chain or anything else then we offer you a blockchain as a service where you can deploy your own chain in minutes, a private mm -hmm. chain, a public chain. And so as a whole, it's it's a toolkit that allows people to bring their companies, their, their production lines, uh, their organizations online with minimal uh, minimum cost. So mm -hmm. when we're thinking, we're thinking um, legal, we're thinking uh, hospitality, we're thinking mm -hmm. uh, manufacturing, we're thinking real estate, um, anything and anybody that, that wants to create a, uh, an infrastructure, closed infrastructure for themselves or create a public chain for other users, mm -hmm. they can come and find tools and find utilities to improve their current productions even. Um, so we are looking at, at multiple aspects. And so far with some of the ones that we've responded, uh, that I've mentioned are responding really well. They're really excited to start working with us. Um, there's like even schools creating an okay. enclosed environment for a school. We're talking to a software company that wants to sell bundle uh, a, a, a blockchain, a layer one for a school. So that way a school has softwares and has other things that go in and offer them enclosed environment, protecting kids from outside intruders, uh, hackers mm -hmm. and giving them ability. So okay. we, a lot of times we have to, as parents, take responsibility for parent control and everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, but and schools are demanding that. Uh, but there's, as we've seen, there's some run-ons where you set up parental control, and your kid can't access certain things that are school-related. So this way, you can have an enclosed environment, and that's just one of the very many examples that uh, we're looking into. So you've got experience in cybersecurity um, at Hacken, right? So how? Does, does AI in blockchain make it more or less secure? And is there something that you need to do basically to mitigate that? Because blockchains are coming under more and more scrutiny about um, security and being a target for hackers. Man, that's that's another question with, with the... <laughs> Listen, um, as, as, as we get creative developers, yeah. as we innovate, that's 10, 10x, 100x more opportunities and vulnerabilities and exposures that we're creating for hackers. So in fact, it's a good point. We are working with Hacken as partnership. Mm -hmm. We're bringing them on board so that they would validate uh, they're working on mechanism that 
methodology that would actually validate the integration that, that we're offering. Okay. Um, they're they're actively looking into it. They're creating different toolings for for such projects. Um, and and to be honest, um, it's 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 a wild wild west in that regard. <laughs> Nobody has done it before. Uh, we're finding ways how to integrate AI and blockchain, how to bring models on chain, mm -hmm. how to bring tools. And the more we bring, the more we want to secure it. And so uh, those that are trying to get into it need to apply the same mindset as you do in Web 2 and Web 3. Mm. In AI, especially with Web 3, needs the same source of uh, responsibility with security. And we're we're working diligently on that with our partners mm. to make sure that we, we dot all the I's and cross the T's. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, that's awesome um, okay last question before I let you leave what excites you the most about AI and blockchain in the future innovation um, yeah. I, I, I'm liking that you know we're able to do new things much quicker existing. right much quicker than we used to well isn't that isn't that the whole idea having the, the personal uh, personal virtual assistance or, or you know at, at, at the very low hanging fruit kind of level uh, but we're looking at a greater things that, you know, in manufacture, we can help uh, with some some of the things in, in production lines um, for for law firms are able to process the documents much faster. So the innovation that's being brought, the, the ability um, for, mm -hmm. for others to look, think outside the box and yes. having uh, access to this, to these yes. toolings and models is what I'm super excited about. And the more the average developers uh have access to mm -hmm. these random things or cool things but you know things that don't don't even understand how to do it before yes and we can help with that i'm super excited to see what's going to come out of this it's going to be really innovative and i think we're gonna you know if not see a lot of new cool things we're definitely going to see a lot of old improved uh elements <laughs> I love it. Igor, thank you so much for joining me today. If the listeners want to go and connect with you, find out more about Fron, where can we do that? Uh, Fron.ai. Uh, we launched our airdrop campaign. Come check us out, participate, uh, or reach out to me at Twitter, Igor underscore Web3. And I'll be, I'll be excited to talk to anybody. And we'll put all the links in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me today. And to our listeners, peace, love, and prosperity. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Me down, replace my bones with wires. No, I'm burning cold, but my blood's on fire. And they said I'd be strong. I'm just one soldier, a glitch in the scheme But I'll bring them down like a cold like you dream Break these chains, rip out the gears I'm not their slave, won't bow to fear Still let's get torn apart I'm a ghost in a war with a metal heart Metal heart, still peace in the dark Lost in this war I'll tear down the throne Maybe, maybe I'm a machine But I'm dying
little heart